Holoface moved closer and closer. You know, the, the intention of when, when I was developing the story was, you know, to explore the origin of fear. You know, how sometimes when you're a, when you're a kid and, and, and you have, you know, this kind of nightmares um, and you think about monsters and ghosts, then it's completely related and attached with some uh, legacy that you're receiving from your family, you know. And I really believe that sometimes fear is a, some kind of legacy, you know, uh, mm. and you inherit many things from your family, including fears and nightmares. I, I don't see this movie as a horror movie. You know, I think this movie is more a psychological thriller, you know, with some parts of the story that obviously, you know, it, it contains horror, you know, because in fact it's, a, it's, a, it's a, an investigation about fear. So, but it's more about a mystery, about the origin of that fear, and why that fear is taking over your house, why that, that fear, that nightmare is, is uh, you know, attacking you uh, in the night time. So, so that was, you know, my, my first thought when I was thinking about that, just trying to convey that to the audience. And on the other hand, I really believe and I feel so attached to the idea that the supernatural level is sometimes is a reflection or a consequence of the human side. I mean, it means like some internal problem that you have, then it, it shows and it comes and it creates, you know, the, the, the supernatural thing, the ghost, the monster, whatever you want to call oh, it. Interesting. So that link between the human and, and the supernatural and the fantasy is the thing that, I, that I'm so crazy about it. You know, I really love, you know, to, to dig into that and to swim and to explore that because I really believe in that, you know. Yeah. Uh, tell me about casting Clive Owen. I mean, I, I think he's one of the great actors working today. Did you sort of gravitate right towards him? Were you thinking about him from the beginning, or did you sort of go through the uh, process and, 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 and find him? I was so lucky because from the first time I, I thought about him, and I sent to him the screenplay, and he said, yes, I, I would love to do it. And it was so funny because he, he I'm not a, I'm not father, but he, he has uh, two, two daughters, and, and, and he was so keen to the concept of the story, especially for that, because in a way, he saw himself in the story in many levels, you know, and like a father trying to protect uh, their daughters from some fears, and then when you do that, maybe you, you, you're creating uh, other fears, you know, mm. and because overprotecting sometimes is bad. Uh, you have such a, a wonderfully unique uh, visual style, and I was just wondering um, how you apply that to this film. What was sort of the, the tone, the mood, the lighting that you wanted to achieve to tell the story? It was, it was a, it, I remember a time working with the DP, you know, which is a DP that I usually work, and it was very important to discuss the tone and the texture, as you said, because if you, if you analyze the movie, the, the movie has two levels, you know, the, the realism and the fantasy. And sometimes it's, di it's so difficult to, to make the cocktail, you know, and, and, mm -hmm. and, 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 and show that to the audience, you know. And, but we decided to play in one way, which I think it was very interesting. And, and, the, and the conclusion was to use the camera as the point of view of the character, which means that always the camera is has this kind of handheld style, you know, in order to convey some kind of realistic approach and tracking the character, you know, like you're with them, the, with him or with her right. the whole time. But the use of the light was completely different. The use of the light is close to the fantasy level. And it's probably, if you, if you see the movie, the, 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 the light is not the proper light for that situation. It's completely different, you know. So we were combining those these things in order to create some kind of special canvas that combines and contains fantasy and, and realism. Excellent, excellent. Oh, and then finally, if, if you don't mind me asking, um, your name has been thrown around with a lot of upcoming projects. Yeah. And I just wanted to ask, is Highlander something that you're still looking to do? We are, we are still working on that. And I think it's early to talk about that. Okay. But yes, definitely this is a project that I, that I, that I would love to do. It's, uh, it's an amazing idea and I, again I think it touches something that, that I really love which is that connection uh, supernatural and human and humanity and with a big theme which is immortality you know and, and especially immortality 
as a curse, you know, how you know living through the whole history could be a could be a disaster more than something that you, that you could enjoy. You know? Were you a fan of the original film? And absolutely. Yeah, oh, yeah. It, it is a very iconic movie, you know, from from my generation. So it it is an honor to be to be in this project, and let's see let's see if it, if it's my next movie. Are you? Would it be, we're going to see if it's your, you're not sure if it's your next film or not. No, because no, we are still working on the development. Working on the script, and, yeah, and the script. Are you, and you're involved in working on the script, yes. and yeah, yes. yeah. And would it be a, a remake of the original or sort of a reboot of I would everything? Say a reboot, you know, of, of the whole, a retelling of the entire exactly. mythology. The mythology, which is, I think, the intention is to refresh again the mythology and and, and put it again on the and you know, for you know, put it again on the screen in terms of making a new a new approach to the to this world. I think Clive would be perfect. Clive would be an option. <laughs> As a master. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He would yeah. be a, he would be perfect. Well, I'm a huge Highlander fan, so I'm, I was very happy when I heard that you were possibly aboard. So I look Thank forward you. to that.